Israel, Gaza Crisis, U.S. Vetoes Security Council Resolution for the Third Time. South Korea, Medical Crisis Due to Doctor's Strike. Gian, Logistics, Technical Department under the Provincial Military Command established. Hello, so good to see you again in today's news. The U.S. has vetoed the draft resolution on Israel for the third time at the latest U.N. Security Council's voting session since the Gaza conflict broke out. Stakeholders then immediately reacted to this voting result. Explaining the decision to veto the draft resolution, Ambassador, Head of the U.S. Delegation to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield said, the draft does not lead to sustainable peace, but prolongs the detention time for hostages and worsens the humanitarian crisis. Meanwhile, Ambassador, Head of the Chinese Delegation to the United Nations Trong Quan acknowledged that, the U.S. veto sent a false message, pushing Gaza into a more serious crisis at a time when the Palestinian people were in a difficult situation. Ambassador, Head of the Russian Delegation to the United Nations, Vasily Nebenzia criticized the U.S.'s decision, emphasizing that the draft proposed by the U.S. cannot replace the solutions proposed in Algeria's draft, as it lacks the most important point, a long-term ceasefire. More than 6,400 South Korean intern doctors recently submitted their resignation to protest the government's plan to increase the number of medical students. This has resulted in the country's medical crisis. The Korean medical industry is facing a major crisis when thousands of doctors quit their jobs to protest against the increase in medical school admission quotas by 2000. These protesters believe that this is unnecessary because the population is decreasing and it's easy for Korean citizens to access the local medical care services. In addition, according to the protesters, the government had better to find other ways to allocate doctors to unpopular departments such as pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology and increase benefits at the same time. Increasing medical school enrollment will only result in harder competition for training positions in popular departments, dermatology, plastic surgery, especially in hospitals in Seoul. On the morning of February 31st, Nghe An's military command just held a ceremony to announce the decision of the Ministry of National Defense and the Joint Staff about the classification of local military agencies and the rearrangement of the agencies under the Ministry of National Defense at the provincial district levels and the military units at the provincial level. Accordingly, the Gay and Military Command is classified as Class 1. 21 district-level military commands have 16 units of Class 1 and 5 units of Class 2. As for the reorganization of agencies under the Provincial Military Command, it is important to notice that, Logistics Department and Technical Department emerged to establish a brand new department called Logistics, Technical Department. After being classified and reorganized, the unit is required to quickly stabilize in all aspects to carry out its political responsibilities in the new situation. Upcoming are some updated news. Australian police forces are concerned that criminal networks are targeting international university students via mass advertising tactics confirming quick and easy ways to earn money in the role of intermediaries to transfer money through personal bank accounts. According to authorities, criminals have attracted foreign students with job advertisements without experience, offering well-paid weekly payments with high work flexibility. What the employees have to do is using their mobile phones or private computers to access Australian bank accounts, than to receive and transfer money as the criminals want them to. Hanoi National University and Hao Chi Men's City National University have just announced a list of nearly 200 universities and colleges registered to use the results of their competency assessment exams for admission in 2024. According to the plan, the University Hanoi National will organize six rounds of exams for 84,000 test takers. The final round takes place on June 1 and 2, 2024. 
Meanwhile, Hao Chi Minh City National University will organize two rounds of exams, round 1, April 7, and round 2, June 2. The result of the round 1 will be announced on April 15. The result of round 2 will be announced on June 10. Among famous airports of countries like Singapore, Thailand, Japan, Noi Bai International Airport of Vietnam has been voted the best by global businessmen in 2024 with an average score of 6.80. Accordingly, Noi Bai Airport is said to have countless incredible facilities, especially the Skyview building with observatory and great facilities for aviation enthusiasts. The terminals in Noi Bai International Airport are extremely fresh while the staffs are very friendly. In addition, there are great culinary options for customers to choose. Today, we would love to talk about a story about Chen Taibing, a collector whose great collection of more than 5,000 ancient artifacts in various types and materials was recognized by the World Records Union, Central Association of Vietnam Record Holders and Vietnam Records Organization in early January 2024. Collector Tran Tai Benh owns more than 200 ancient statues made of gold, jade, wood, bronze, and sandstone dating from 100 to 1000 years old related to religion and belief. To obtain precious antiques, in addition to good luck, collectors should be patient and hardworking. For the past 30 years, I have learned from the experiences of those who did this job before me. To be a collector, I need have great passion to do it whenever it rains or shines. Gian Museum has received active support from collector Tran Tai Bin. His collection helps the museum organize thematic exhibitions. He is one of the people who contribute to preserving the cultural values of our homeland. Antiquities contain many messages, showing unique historical, cultural and artistic marks of the country and people. In order to collect antiquities, any collectors must deeply understand their values and save them as carefully as they can. This is why collectors are called the ones who preserve memories with antiques. The last story just ended our program today. Thank you so much for your attention. Goodbye and see you later.